Hello YouTube gardeners. Today is green chili harvest day. And you can see I have lots of big, beautiful green chilies that are gonna get roasted. And I also have a pretty major blight problem going on. And unfortunately, all the plants are affected. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get all these green chilies harvested. And then I'm gonna go through and remove all of the affected leaves. And it's really widespread throughout most of the plants. So they're really gonna get butchered. And normally I get two harvests out of my green chili plants, but this year I got them in late. And with all of this widespread blight, the plants are in pretty bad shape, but I'm not giving up yet. So I'll get these guys harvested. I'll get the blight addressed and we'll see what we're left with. And maybe I'll get a second round, we'll see. All right, gonna get started. All right, first round of green chilies harvested. There's gonna be a second round, but it's not gonna be as big as normal. There's quite a few chilies still in the plants, but as I mentioned earlier, the plants are infected with blight pretty bad and I need to get them treated. So the flowering has greatly diminished, but still have lots of peppers on the plants. So They'll be around too, but it's just not going to be as big as normal. I am really happy with this harvest though. I've got lots of big, beautiful green chilies. And typically it's about four to five green chilies per quart size bag once they're roasted and peeled. And one quart size bag gives us about two meals worth. So my husband will make maybe um, green chili chicken pasta. He'll use about half a bag. So this harvest right here is probably gonna give us about 20 future green chili dishes. And I'll attach a video up in the right corner that we did last year on how we roast and preserve our green chilies for future green chili dishes. And it's fajita time with these beautiful bells that are ready to eat. I also have jalapenos coming on pretty strong. That's why a lot of them are red. Look at the color on this one. Wow. Got lots of over ripened jalapenos, but they still taste amazing. Going to make some breakfast potatoes in the morning. And of course they're going to go into the fajitas. And this is a funny story. So these little tomatoes, these little cherry tomatoes are called blueberries and they start off like this and they're so beautiful. And I totally forgot about the seed package and I have it right here, I'll show you in a second. But I was trying to eat them when they were like this and they weren't ripe yet. Somebody asked me on Instagram, how do they taste? And I told them, gosh, it kind of tastes like a green tomato because it wasn't ripe yet, so had a major dork moment but I've never grown these and so if you're gonna grow these uh, blueberries gotta wait for them to ripen all the way they turn red and then they're yummy here is the seed package information and if I would have looked back to the seed package I would have saw that they're red in the picture but anyway they're a lot of fun to grow and then this one is called a dark galaxy. What a cool looking tomato. And here is the seed package for this guy. Very awesome. 
I had fun growing specialty tomatoes this year, but I'm gonna really limit the specialty tomatoes I grow next year. I really wanna get back to the beefsteaks and my favorite tomatoes, but I'll definitely grow some more of these blueberries and dark galaxy again. And lots of watermelon and cantaloupe and melons ripening all at the same time. The cantaloupe is the sweetest cantaloupe I've ever had. It's the hearts of gold. Absolutely delicious and so juicy. I saw today on the Farm Fresh to You website that you could get dried mangoes. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. And we have a mango tree, so I'm definitely gonna be doing that in the future, dehydrating our mangoes. All right, so it's time to treat my pepper plants, get the fungus taken care of, and this is what I'm gonna be using. It's Dr. Earth, and I'm gonna get it in my fogger, and you can see here, uh, controls powdery mildew, black spot, so on, so on, and there's blight. Lots of different fungus, disease control, so I'm gonna get my pepper plants treated and hopefully gonna have one more nice harvest. We'll see how it goes. All right, well, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend and enjoy your garden.